faith and be closer, drawn to Church, today is the celebration day. The Sabbath begins sunset. It will end sunset. It does not begin morning and ends evening. From evening to evening, we celebrate the Sabbath. Hallelujah. The topic tonight. Sabbath is for me and you. What is our topic? Sabbath is for me and you. Hallelujah. I am going to read only two verses that are similar. The first one comes from First Corinthians, First Corinthians, First Corinthians, chapter eleven. Let's open our Bibles, First Corinthians, chapter eleven. Shall we pray? Gracious Father, the Father who art in heaven, speak now to your children. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I don't know whether you can allow me uh, to illustrate something. Pastor Veli, come. <laughs> Mrs. Veli, come. Pastor Jeremiah, come and sit there so that you read. I want you to stand here, you too. Jeremiah, you can come here. Now read verse 8. Uh, 11, verse 8 says. Yeah, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 8. The Bible says. Yeah. For the man is not of the woman. Ooh. 
but the Wait, woman. Stop there! Stop there! <laughs> hey! Powerful statement! Repeat it there! Repeat! Uh, the Bible says. Now listen to the first. The, I want only the first statement. Read. The Bible says. Yeah. For the man is not of the woman. Oh! For the man is not of the woman. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, this man is not of the woman. Hallelujah. It is the Bible. It's not me. For the man is not of the woman. Don't even say or claim to say that you, you are of me. <laughs> the Bible says, my sister, for the man, your husband, is not of the woman. Now read. Uh, I continue. Yes. Uh, but the woman of the man. Oh. But the woman of the man. Uh, you are powerful. <laughs> For the man is not of the woman. Hello? Yeah. You cannot say to this man, you are of me. No. But the woman is of the man. Uh, powerful statement. So you have got the right then, to say that you, my wife, you are of me. But this one cannot say you, very, you are of me. She cannot say that. But you, you can say, you are of me. Hallelujah. Read, continue. Next verse. Verse 9. Yeah. Neither was the man created for the woman. Oh! Neither was the man created for the woman. This one was not created for the woman. Are you following? Now, let me start from verse 8. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman is of the man. And the man is not created for the woman, but what? Uh, but the woman for the man. Did you hear that? But the woman was created for the man. Ah... Uh, Hey, the man is not of the woman, but the woman is, in, is of the man. The man was not created for the woman, but the woman was created for the man. Therefore, <laughs> if the man, if God did not create men. The woman was not going to be created. Because the woman was created because the man was there. If the man was not there, the woman was not going to be created. If I was you, I was going to say, ah, you men, thank you so very much. Because I am here because of you. Hallelujah. Read the next verse. Verse 10. Yeah. For this cause ought the woman eh. to have power eh. on her head because of the angels. Eh. Continue. 11. Yeah. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Neither is the man. Neither is the man. Without the woman. Without the woman. Neither the woman. Neither the woman. Without the man. Without the man. Is the Lord. Hallelujah. So now, very, if the woman was created for you. We go to, to, to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 22. Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing. <laughs> Whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing. It's in favor from God. Hallelujah. 
When you find a wife, oh, you find your thing. It's your thing. When you are moving, you said, I am having my thing. Walking with your thing. <laughs> and the Bible is saying, it is favor from God. When we are talking about favor, we are talking about mercy. We are talking about, when we are talking about mercy, we are talking about grace. Hey, if we continue to explain this, these things, we end up saying grace is Jesus. Hello? And if there is no way you can beat grace or mercy because it's a favor from God. That's why Genesis chapter 2 says, verse 18, and the Lord God said, it is not good that a man should be alone. Hello? It is not good that a man should be alone. I will make him a wife suitable for him. Hallelujah. Are you following? Let me tell you, students, yeah, especially guys, it is not good and healthy for you to stay alone. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, it's not good. Hey, the Bible says, other versions, they said, it is not good and healthy for you to be alone. Moving alone in the street, up and down, alone. It's not good and healthy. Hallelujah. And God is saying, I will make him a help meet. Suitable for him. That is the wife. Let me go to the next verse. Then we close. Mark chapter 2. Don't go. Mark chapter 2. Verse 27. Mark chapter 2. Verse 27. And 28. Now, I want you to, when we are reading this verse, uh, have in mind the first verse. For the woman, the woman was created for, for the man. But the man was not created for, for the woman. Now, verse 27. 27 say, yeah. and he said unto them, yeah. the Sabbath was made for man. The Sabbath was made for man. The woman was made for who? For men. The Sabbath was made for what? For men. Hallelujah. But. And not man for the Sabbath. And not man for the Sabbath. The man was not made for the Sabbath. But the Sabbath was made for what? For men. Can you see that there is similarity here? The woman was made for the man. But the man was not made for the woman. The Sabbath was made for the man. But the man was not made for the what? For the Sabbath. Let me come closer to you. This is a court. This is a court. And then, this court was made for me. Hello? But I was not made for the court. Hello? This suit and this attire, beautiful attire, it was made for them. But are they made for the suit? No. Now, allow me to come closer a bit. <clears throat> we want this beautiful couple to go and buy something at Barasi so that we can have some uh, juice to drink after this service. Then we agree to say that we want them to go there naked. What did I say? We agree here so that we want them to go there naked. To buy what? Some juice for us to drink here. 
And then when they go outside of this main gate, when the people outside there who are saying things, when they saw them coming naked to buy shoes for us, what are they going to say? Talk to me. What are they going to say? They are going, they are not only going to say they are made. They are going to say they are made running away from them. Say that, ah, these people, they are made. They started to run, calling the police to come because they are naked. Why? They refuse clothes. That makes them normal. Hallelujah. Now, the Sabbath, like the court, was made for the men. If you now refuse the Sabbath, people who are seeing you when you are going outside there, they, they are not going to say they are made only. They will be running. You say that these people are made. They refuse the Sabbath. That was made for them. <laughs> you refuse the wife. That was made for you. Then you are made. You refuse this one. She was created for you. And if you refuse the person who has been created for you, then upstairs, upstairs there, something, the, the, the wires, they are not connected. Hallelujah. And then you refuse the Sabbath. Then you are made. Hallelujah. That's why I said the Sabbath is for who? For me and you. For your own information, God did not create a man to keep the Sabbath. Because when God created a man, the Sabbath was not there. But he created the Sabbath for men. I did not pick that one. He created the Sabbath for who? So there is no way you can say, I don't want the Sabbath. Because it is created for you. So if it is created for you, ah, I celebrate in the Sabbath because it is created for me and you. <laughs> ah, hey, hey. That's why now, if you read, if you read Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 11 to 12, it is saying the Sabbath is a sign between you and me. Hello? Allow me to, this is a baby, this one. Hello? And then, this one now, she said, ah, eh, I'm pregnant. I'm going to have a baby. But this baby eh, is for the food. <laughs> Hello? You are saying this baby that I'm going to uh, bear is for food. But you, you, you prepare food. For what? For the baby. You don't have a baby for food. Are you, you are not picking that one. Am I explaining clearly? You don't have a baby for food. But you make food for the baby. Am I clear? Is it clear? Pastor Nara says English sometimes. Hey, you don't have a baby for food. But you prepare food for the baby. True or false? Now, if you prepare food for the baby, now, there is a Sabbath. This is a man. This one is food. This one is Sabbath. Let's go together. This one is what? Men. This one is what? Sabbath. This one is what? Food. Hello? The, sub, the, the man is in between food and the Sabbath. Hello? Now, food is going to be prepared for the man so that he can survive. Sabbath has been created for the man so that he can survive. Hallelujah. You refuse the food, you will die. You don't want to eat. 
three days down the line, we are going to dig a very deep grave. Because you refuse what? You refuse. Because food was created so that you can survive. You refuse the Sabbath. You die. Because the Sabbath was created for you. Hallelujah. That's why I am saying the Sabbath is for me. And who? And you. So, hey, come Friday one, when they close these offices that are giving us a problem, I am enjoying to get inside the Sabbath. Hallelujah. Because that is where my life is. Are you following me? Are you following me? So this coat is made for me. Let me wear it. If I wear it, then you can say you are smart. Hello? Yeah. Because if I remove them and I am naked, there is no one who can say you are smart. But if I wear then you can say, ah, faster, you are smart. No, you wear the Sabbath. You take the Sabbath. That has been created for you. Ah, oh, you are smart. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Hey, let us go to the Sabbath when we want it to be normal. Because it is created for us. Remember, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, eh? God created men before the Sabbath. Genesis chapter 2, and then God said, the man cannot survive without the Sabbath. He created the Sabbath, and he said, remember the Sabbath day, and they keep it holy. You refuse to remember it. You refuse to keep it. Bye-bye, when we are going up there. Let me see those who are saying, oh, I didn't know. But now, if the Sabbath was created for me, I want to celebrate it until Christ comes. Stand up. Hallelujah. 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 Because it is created for you. Hallelujah. And you want to keep it until the end of the world. Now, Pastor Jeremiah, come and pray for your people. Let us pray. Yes. Our Father in heaven, we are grateful this evening for speaking to all of us in a very special way. Mm. Thank you for the gift of the Sabbath yeah. that you have created for all of us Amen. men so yeah. that we can worship you and glorify your name. Mm. May you bless each and every one of us as we are going to rest in this special day of Amen. the Sabbath until we meet again tomorrow. And thank you for your man servant. You have used Pastor Kwedede. Bless him too because mm. we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen.